If you're trying to lose weight and it's just not working, trust me, watch this video. These are probably the mistakes that you're making. The good news is you can change them all today, right now, and get to your goal weight as soon as possible. Welcome back everyone. My name is Kathleen Hart. I'm a mindset and weight loss coach, and I'm here to make your diet and weight loss journey easy. Easy. When I say the words, weight loss is fun, weight loss is easy, how do you feel about that? Does that trigger you to say, no, it's not, it actually sucks? Then keep watching this video because most of the stuff that we're doing is gonna be mindset based. A lot of it too is actionable steps. So just as much as actionable steps are important in a weight loss journey, so is your mindset. And that is what I'm here to talk about because no one on the internet is talking about mindset when it comes to weight loss. And if you haven't improved your mindset and healed it from the negative limiting beliefs of your childhood around weight loss and dieting and the scale, you're not gonna succeed. So follow me for all the tips and tricks in, involved in mindset repair work. And this video is gonna be a little smidge looking into that whole world of mindset and weight loss. But if you ever want more support on your journey, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching and group coaching. Just check the description box for all of the links. What mistakes are you making? Let me tell you. First mistake is, you're not giving this enough time. Whatever diet you just decided to do, whatever eating plan you're doing, fasting, exercising, whatever it is, you've gotta give it time to work. And most of the time, we're not patient enough. We are an Amazon Prime society. We want something here tomorrow, or in two days flat, and that's it. I wanna order it and hold it in my hand. Weight loss doesn't work that way. So you've gotta put the time in and give your body a chance to acclimate to the change that you're making to it so that you can actually see your results. But most of us give up right before we're about to see any kind of results. So trust me when I say you've got to stick it out for a few weeks at least, but give your body weeks to adjust to the changes that you're making and get to see those results and build up that moment. The next thing you might be doing to self-sabotage is that you're not tracking what you're eating and you're drinking. So you're just kind of throwing your hands in the air and saying, yeah, I'm counting my calories, but I'm not even counting my calories. I think I'm eating low calorie. You guys, start tracking today. As soon as we're done watching this video, track your food for whatever your macros are. If your focus is protein, count your protein for the day. Weigh your food. Same thing, if you're trying to count carbs, write down or track in an app every single food you're eating and how many carbs you're actually eating in a day. You might think you're eating 25 net carbs and you're actually eating 50. So you just don't know. And the same goes the other way. You might think you're eating 1,500 calories, but then you add everything up and you're only at 1,000 for the day. And it's like that can be in bring us into starvation mode and slow our metabolism down. So tracking is so important. If you're not doing it, start as soon as possible. Another mistake you might be making is you're focusing way too much attention on the scale. The scale is a great way to measure our progress. Don't get me wrong, the scale is great, but it can be a mindset game when it comes to the scale. It could be, we can get in our heads a lot when we wake up in the morning, we weigh ourselves and we see a number that we don't like. So it's really important to distance yourself from the results of the scale and think of it in a different way. Think of it as data that you're just collecting, you're writing it down, the number doesn't really matter. Don't put too much focus on the scale. Just trust in the process. And that kind of goes back to tip number one, you've gotta give it time. You're not gonna lose 50 pounds in a week. So just give it time, record, on the scale, record what your numbers are every day, but don't think about it too much and make sure you're tracking in multiple ways. The first module in my online course for weight loss is to track in multiple ways. You've gotta be tracking other ways besides just the scale because the scale is not always gonna be our best friend. And it's not always the best indication of how well we're doing on our weight loss journey. Another mistake could be you're not loving your food. If you're waking up every day saying, ugh, I'm on a diet, that is so not the vibe. That has never been the vibe. That's, no, no one should be living like that. You should be waking up every day saying, oh my God, I'm excited to eat my lunch. I can't wait to have my snack. Oh my gosh, I'm making the best dinner ever. I can't wait to have it. And it's low carb or it's low calorie, whatever it is, it's on my plan and I'm so excited to eat it. So if you're not doing that now, if you're eating boiled chicken and steamed broccoli, please stop immediately. What do you want to eat? What do you like to eat? Look up a recipe on Pinterest for low carb this or low, low calorie that. Figure out a way to make your food super fun and super interesting and super exciting. You wanna look forward to that next meal. If you're not doing that, you definitely should be. If you're not doing that, then, then we, we've, we've gotta start from scratch. Make a meal plan you can get super, super excited about. The same thing goes for your workout regimen. If you're anything like me, I do not like working out. I don't like going to the gym. I don't like doing HIIT workouts. I made myself do it and forced myself to do it for a little bit, for a hot minute. 
No, that is not the vibe. I am a steps girl. If I get over 10,000 steps a day, I am golden. And I lost my weight doing that and I'm maintaining doing that. But I know I've got to hit my goal. So will I hop on the treadmill sometimes? Absolutely. Will I go outside for a walk, which I love? Absolutely. I will get my steps in no matter how I have to do it. But ask me to work out and do a hit workout, the answer is gonna be no. And if you make me do it, I'm not gonna be having fun and I'm gonna be in a bad mood. So, same thing goes for enjoy your food. Enjoy the way you get up and move. There are walking videos online. You can go outside in nature and take a walk. I did a whole video about walking on my channel, which has almost a million views now. That's the vibe. Do something that you love to do. If you love dancing, there are so many dancing videos right here on YouTube. Just Google it, look it up, and you will find something that you like. But when we find something we like, we stick to it, and when we stick to it, we get the results that we want. So evaluate anything in your daily life, your diet journey where you're like, oh, I don't wanna do this, and think about it differently and do it differently. And lastly, mindset. Let's chat on that for a second. Let's do a surface level mindset check. Weight loss is easy, weight loss is fun. How does that make you feel? If you're like, no, no, girl on YouTube, you're wrong. It sucks, dieting sucks, losing weight sucks. Then it's going to suck. If you think that it's fun and easy, it will be fun and easy. And this is exactly what I told myself during my last weight loss journey of losing over 65 pounds. Every single day I woke up and I said, this is fun. Taking my before video, I was like, oh, I can't wait till I do my next video where I'm smaller, where I'm lost weight, where I can compare myself to right now. I'm so excited, I'm so pumped up. Let's go, let's do this. Everything should be positive and happy and fun. And if it's not, that's where you've gotta do the mindset work and that's where the mindset work is gonna change this journey and make it different from any other journey. Get yourself started with my goal setting worksheet. It's down in the description box, it's free. Get that, set some goals today. Let me know, did this video kinda of help you? Did it help you say, huh, maybe I need to do a couple things differently in this weight loss journey to get different results? Did it get you thinking? Let me know down in the comments. If you do want more support in your weight loss journey, please reach out to me. I've got one-to-one -one private coaching, group mastermind, which is awesome. And then I also have my online course available for mindset and weight loss, so you can get started today. All of that is linked down below. If you have any questions, also comment that too. Follow me on Instagram for more tips and tricks on the daily. And I'll see you really soon with my next video. Bye everybody.